The Orioles are going to send the right-hander Kyle Bradish to the mound. He's coming off a good second start against the Washington Nationals where he didn't always have his best command of his secondary pitches, but still gave up one run in five innings, at times overpowering Nationals hitters with his fastball. He struck out nine batters in that game. So Springer back in the lineup and in the leadoff spot. First pitch today, 12-36. The second pitch at 12-37. It's the first out. George Springer grounds out to the third baseman, Jordan Westberg. Number two hitter is Dalton Varsho. Varsho is in left today. And there's his first strikeout of this game. 98. That two-seamer has been so deadly on the inside to lefties this year. A two-way. It's going to send Vladimir Guerrero Jr. up to the plate. Here's the 0-2. And it's a chopper out in front of home plate. McCann calls off his pitcher, grabs it, throws to first. Guerrero is out, and Kyle Bradish has a fast one, two, three inning. This, to me, could be a day that Yusei Kikuchi adapts the other way and goes to that electric fastball. He had a lot of life on it in his last start against Minnesota. I think he can go either way, too. If he needs to spin it, he can. If he needs to go heavier fastball, he can do that, too. Jordan Westberg's going to open things up in the bottom of the first. So Westberg leads off the game and leads off with a shot to deep right field. And now you might not be able to get him out of this spot. Jordan Westberg with his best cutter. Henderson impression, a leadoff home run. And the first at bat of his career as a leadoff hitter. 2 1 fastball out over the plate. He's looking for it. And again, he's been so hot, he doesn't miss it. And that's the key to hitting. It's going to send Adley Rutschman up to the plate. And he got him. Good slider down at the knees for the first out. Just at the bottom of the zone, and Rutschman swings right over it. First out of the bottom of the first inning, and Ryan Mountcastle is due up next. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him to go around on a back foot curveball. And back-to-back -back strikeouts for Kikuchi. And that has been Yusei's bread and butter this season. So good at locating that back foot slider. Henderson, he slides down into the cleanup spot today. Four straight out of the zone. And the Orioles have not put a ball in play in this inning. A home run, two strikeouts, and now a walk. And now Kikuchi's going to get a pretty early visit to the mound well, for Pete Walker. Of, yeah, kind of an unusual inning where he usually doesn't get behind guys. He did. Westbrook get a home run. And a swing and a miss by Santander to win the inning. So one out here is George Springer. But the extra day gave him the ability to get back in. So the 3-2 yet again. And that's off the base. So it's a fair ball. And Springer is on his way to second with one of the stranger doubles you're going to see. Smart hitting, George. Smart hitting. <laughs> he hit a curveball and dropped it right on the base at third. It looked like there's going to be foul by a wide margin. First pitch. Swing and a high fly ball deep right field Santander sprinting back makes the catch on the run on the warning track Springer retreats to second he was trying to score Vlad is tied for the team lead in RBIs with 19 274 hitter right now after a ground out in the first rounded up the middle and Springer's got to be held at third it'll be an infield hit but Mateo saved a run by keeping that ball on the infield. Well, he sure did. And they talk about Mateo all the time, and that he will do something every game to help you win a game. And right there, he saved a run for the Orioles. So first and third with two down. And now here's Bo Bichette, who reached on an infield hit his first time up. This one is well hit, deep right field. And Santander can't make the catch. Springer has come in to score. Guerrero is on his way to the plate and in there. And it's a two-run double for Bo Bichette. Bo gets this ball out over the plate, stays on the slider, and hammers it over the right fielder's head. Guerrero running from first base with two outs, sprawls all over home plate for the second run, and the Blue Jays have the lead. Kowser, does he look a little bit like Gunnar Henderson with that mustache? Some people will shave to try to get out of a little bit of a slump. Some people will let the facial hair grow. Gowser, line drive right side, and that's a base hit over the glove of Schneider. A single for Gowser puts runners at first and second as the moves ensue. Santander moves up. Now can they get their first hit with a runner in scoring position? James McCann will try to do that. Way inside, it's off the glove of Jansen, and the runners will take an extra base. I would assume they'll give him a wild pitch, but that's a ball pass ball. And a swing and a miss, got him with a changeup. The second time today, Buck, he's used to change up for a strikeout. Still has work to do, though, to strand the runners on second and third with two outs. And the 2-2 pitch. Got him! 
Mullins frozen at the plate. Eight Ks today for Kikuchi, who strands a pair in scoring position and keeps Toronto on top. So three walks in the inning for Jacob Webb, who has pitched a lot. Yeah, fifth walk of the afternoon by the Jays. So what a spot for David Schneider. Schneider has walked both times. He's been up. Webb, 3 2, line drive left field. Kowser's starting in. He makes the catch. And despite walking the bases loaded, Jacob Webb lives to tell the tale. If you say Kikuchi up to 80 pitches, it would have to go really quickly from here, I would think, for him to go much further in the game. And a swing and a miss. Got him with a slider for strikeout number nine. That ties a season high, nine strikeouts for Yusei Kikuchi. Full count, one out, the payoff pitch, and there's a line drive to right. That'll get down in fair territory for a base hit. Fielded by Springer, Adley turns and heads back towards first base. And that's going to be all for Yusei Kikuchi here with Ryan Mountcastle. Coming up, Zach Pop coming in. And he got him to chase one down below the zone. Two down. Well, that's wicked stuff. There's no question. 1-0. Sinker hitting the air to left. Varsho angling toward the line on the warning track in the corner, makes the catch, and ends the inning. Nice job, Zach Pop. He comes in, gets two quick outs. And ends the fifth with the Blue Jays leading two to one. Tie and run now at first base. Austin's first at bat since April 20th. He was terrific. Home runs in his first two games. He's high fly ball in the air to deep right field. Springer and Kiermeyer chase it back. It's in between the both of them for a hit. A very late break by McCann. He makes it to third. Hayes is in the second with an opposite field double and it's second and third nobody out and John Schneider will make the move for Jimmy Garcia who's going to inherit a very tough situation swing and a miss to get him for the first down there's that high fastball and the value of that is that he can punch you out at 98 upstairs and now they're going to walk the DH Adley Rutschman put him on at first base to load the bases and bring up Mountcastle. He's popped it up. Foul territory. Here comes Guerrero. Two down. So now it's going to be Jimmy Garcia and Gunnar Henderson with the bases loaded and two outs. Rounded to first. And what a job by Jimmy Garcia. So the tying run is at second with nobody out. The Blue Jays are in on the corners. Mateo gets it down. Guerrero to yeah. first. So Jorge Mateo. As his second sacrifice run of the year, nicely done. And the tying run to third with one out again. Well, Toronto is going to intentionally walk a batter for the second straight inning. And he did it again. The throw to the plate. Got him! And Santander is telling the Orioles to have a look. So Baltimore can challenge two different things. They can challenge safe out, and they can also challenge blocking the plate after after review there's no violation of the home plate blocking rule also the call of out stands the runner is out Baltimore loses their challenge Jordan Romano has a chance to complete the two game sweep here in Baltimore which would end this two year regular season sweepless streak and it's Westberg who homered on the fourth pitch of the game Westberg toward the middle Kiner oh. Falefa couldn't field it hello ricochet yep Tying run is on to lead off the Oriole ninth. So Adley Rutschman is the next man up. 0 for 10 with men in scoring position. Just a lot of chances, and the Orioles haven't been able to come through. Rutschman high in the air to right field. Springer at the wall. Springer waiting. Goodbye. Walk off home run. Game over. Well, they're going to look at it. It's a two run shot. It just landed above the LED board in right, and the Orioles can finally celebrate as Rutschman is mobbed at home plate. Jordan Romano gives it up, and the Orioles, it is another series where they still haven't been swept. Did it hit over the top of the padding or not? The call on the field is a walk-off Rutschman home run. After review, home run. A two-run walk-off homer. That is five walk-offs for the Orioles this year. Rutschman's first of the season. And the Orioles, they take one against Toronto in this brief two-game series.